everyone and welcome to another production by Mobile Fire TV. I'm Hazel and this is the Gyrocopter Guide written by Hades. Gyrocopter is a ranged agility carry who is able to deal huge amounts of AoE damage, enabling him to farm easily and also to take down multiple enemy heroes at once. He's picked often in both public and competitive matches because he's a strong carry that can win games easily if he gets enough space and farm. Today we're going to focus on the competitive build and playstyle that works best for him. Gyrocopter's first skill is Rocket Barrage. It launches 30 rockets in 3 seconds, dealing damage to enemies around him. If all the rockets hit a single target, it can deal up to 330 damage at level 1 and 690 at level 4. Homing Missile is Gyrocopter's second skill. It fires a homing missile at a target enemy unit. The missile gains speed over time and deals greater damage and a longer stun the more it travels. The missile can be destroyed by hero and tower attack. Gyrocopter's third skill is Flak Cannon. It enables his attacks to hit all targets in a thousand range around him. This skill is what makes Gyrocopter a great farmer and damage dealer. And finally, Gyrocopter's ultimate is Cooldown. It cools down two missiles from the sky that deal damage and slow enemies in a 450 radius where the rockets land. Start out with a point in Rocket Barrage. Since it deals a lot of damage and the enemies are easy to kill at early levels, it might help you get first blood. Continue by levelling up Flak Cannon, which will help you farm lane easily and also harass your opponent. However, the first skill you want to max out is Rocket Barrage. This way you'll nuke down enemies quickly, especially if you have a support with Disables. The second skill you want to max out is Flak Cannon, because it will help you clear creep waves and also farm jungle sacks effectively. You can also push back the enemies. Since they don't want to get hit by your attacks, they'll fall back. Homing Missile will be maxed out last. Since it can be destroyed, it's not a very effective skill. If you think it's going to help, you can take 1 point at early levels. And of course, always level up your ultimate at level 6, 11 and 16. Start out with a Wraith Band, which will help you with some stats and make last hitting easier, and with a Tango for regeneration. The first item you want to get is Phase Boots. They'll give you some nice damage and movement speed, which will help you a lot when chasing enemies with your Rocket Barrage. If you think you need more mana regeneration, you can upgrade Wraith Band to Ring of Aquila. Since you need to farm a lot, you'll want to get Helm of the Dominator, which will enable you to farm the neutral creeps and ancients easily with the lifesteal that it gives. Also, you can dominate creeps and stack ancients that you take down with your Flak Cannon. The next items you're going to go for are situational. If your team doesn't have heroes with invisibility, you can go for a Shadow Blade, which will give you some damage and attack speed, but also an escape and chase mechanism. If you're against a team with many disables and a lot of magic damage, go for a Black King Bar, which will give you magic immunity and more durability. And for some more stats that will help you, a Yasha will do just fine, giving you attack speed damage and also movement speed. In late game, you'll want to get items that will help you take down your enemies faster. You can upgrade your Yasha to Manta style for more stats. Other great items for Gyrocopter are Butterfly, which gives him attack speed, damage and evasion, and Monkey King Bar, which gives a lot of damage and also true strike, mini stunning, dealing damage and also great against heroes with evasion. For more durability, upgrade your Helm of the Dominator to Satanic, which will give you a lot more strength and extra lifesteal. Also, Gyrocopter is a great Divine Rapier carrier, so if you think you can handle it without losing it, go on and pick it up. All that damage will hit everyone in the flat cannon range. You want to get in a lane where you can farm. If you have someone to support you, even better. You might get kills and you can farm safer. You must get all the gold you can and not die. Losing gold and time will delay your items and this is bad for any carry. The faster you get your items, the better. Make sure you don't miss any last hits. If your support has disables, you can try disabling and nuking down your enemies. If you get your Helm of the Dominator fast, start right away to make stacks of Ancients as much as you can, so you can clear them out later with your Flak Cannon. This will give you a lot of gold and experience. In mid game, you should have your first items such as Shadow Blade, if you picked it up. You can push lanes, destroy towers and farm while your team is pushing another lane. If your team can't handle it in 4, you'll have to go and help them in team fights. Since you deal a lot of AoE damage, it shouldn't be a problem to win a fight. After winning a fight, you can safely take Roshan or clear your ancient stacks with your lifesteal. 
In late game, you can easily clear creep waves and stock pushes, getting a lot of gold out of it, making it easy for you to get your last items. You want to participate in every fight. Your team needs your damage, so make sure you don't get disabled and killed. Remember that your flak cannon will hit everyone around you, but if the enemies are in ghost form, they won't get hit, but will receive bonus damage from your other spells. You have to stay alive as much as possible, dealing all the damage that you can. Always use your items. Your Black King Bar will make you almost unstoppable in fights. Your Satanic will help you regenerate your life faster, and your Manta Star will help you with pushing and confusing the enemies. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe. If you want to see a guide for a specific hero, let us know. Webifier TV is sponsored by PDP Gaming Hardware.